Hey up guys, Pokemark here and we're back with another another video for you. And today's gonna be a little bit different because we've got some Pokemon products, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video. But today I'm gonna go through something completely different and off topic. And it's something I mentioned in a previous video I will be doing, uh, going through reviews and box breaks of different products. Uh, I have got a Pokemon thing today. It's something I'm not opening because I, I've started collecting the decks that you do get from shops. I've picked this up for, th for £3.50 from uh, my local Sainsbury's. If you're in the UK, Sainsbury's is a massive supermarket, pretty much like I don't know, Walmart in America. Um, they do sell a few Pokemon products, but not too much. They've sold out of quite a lot of stuff recently. Uh, but we do have the decks in there. And they are really cheap at the moment, so I'm picking them up while I can and I'm going to keep them sealed because I feel like it's quite a nice little thing. Plus, we already know what cards are in there, so there's no point opening them. Uh, we know what cards are in. Uh, so we've got Pidgeotto in there. We've got Chin Chincho Lantern, the Dragonair line, Fisherman, Lily. All the stuff you'd see in a normal deck, but a basic version of the deck. So you won't really play with the full 60 cards that you do get in these decks you will want to improve them and add new things to them to make it more consistent uh, because they don't give you half as much energy per the need for this deck or they may even give you too much in this kind of um, deck. <laughs> don't know why they put water energy in there to be fair because I believe none of that, uh, them Pokemon there take water unless a Dragonite does, I'm not too sure because I'm not opening it, I can't remember what that card does. But uh, yeah, so Soaring Storm theme deck, quite a nice one. I already have the Necrozma one from Unified Minds, and I've also got the Lycan Rock from Unbroken Bonds, I believe it is. Can't remember too much off the top of my head, to be fair. I will apologise now, I am full of cold and my head's just all over the place. So, uh, Another thing as well, uh, Pokemon related while we're on this subject, I bought these two off eBay uh, to add to my Silver Ally collection. Uh, so I've got my Type Null and my Silver Ally in J Japanese now, which I'm really happy about because I had this one, the Type Null, but I didn't have Silver Ally, so it's quite nice to have that, and that cost me £2.50, so very, very nice find on eBay. So the main focus of this video, it's not going to be a short video by the way, because I don't really think this is going to take too long to do. I went out and I finally, two weeks too late, bought Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for the PS4. Be excited for this video game since it got announced pretty much a year ago. And I didn't get it on launch day because I spent too much money at the Pokemon Centre in London and I bought Pokemon Shield and I decided to play through all that. I've now completed that game and just going through the Pokedex now, trying to complete the Pokedex. But I got the Jedi Fallen Order, uh, the Deluxe Edition, which comes with the nice little uh, metal tin for the game. Nothing too uh, fancy in there, just the Sith Troopers. And then the little robot on the back there. That's a steel book. Then we have the game itself. They all come separately and get the game shop I got it from struggled to scan all the items separately because it was a special bundle they did with the game. But it's not all in one box, it's it's all separate, so it's really a bit of a mess around really to be for them. They couldn't find all the codes for it. So there we have it. Oh some fun this weekend playing that. There we go. I used to have an Xbox and I got rid of it to get a Switch because I never really played on it and I don't play massively on the PS4 but I will be regretting to neglect it soon when I realise how good this game is. So this is, let me just make some room from the backdrop. <laughs> That's not working at all is it? Let's take your pot, make it portable and move you back a bit. So that's the box you do get.
quite a nice uh, setup we have there with it. And I'll show you what we do get inside. So this is uh, the box itself is a bit padded. I believe it lights up. Ah, there. So don't know if you can see that too well, but it's actually lit up. So quite a nice uh, display box to be fair. The battery will be replaceable, so I'm not going to keep it on too long because I don't want to run the battery down too far. But it's quite a nice little touch to it. Oh, so the battery is replaceable. I've just noticed there. There's a compartment at the bottom there to change the battery, so I don't have to worry about keeping on to be fair, so there we go. What I'll do is put it on in the back. That's just an empty bit of cardboard. Sorry if I keep it in a collector's edition sealed box, but it came like this, unsealed. So, in this uh, collector's box, you do get four pins. So you are your main character there. You've got the robot, you've got a Sith Trooper or Sith Droid maybe. Can't really make it out very well. And yeah, I think it's a droid. And then right at the bottom there, you've got the trooper itself. Really nice sweat to the collection to be fair. I've got plenty of Star Wars um, memorabilia scattered all around the house. Most of it's in the loft because it's easy to store up there. And it's away from damage and harm, so quite happy enough to leave it up there. And then finally, if I can get this off, we do get some artwork cards. So, what I thought was a droid is actually an Inquisitor. So, going back to the old Star Wars Rebels series where they had the Inquisitors that were all force sensitive. We've got them there, so that's quite a nice artwork. So the droid's called BD-1, and I'm assuming it's part of the Rebel Alliance because of the logo at the bottom there. I will start playing this at, this, at some point this weekend, so looking forward to playing it. So your character there is apparently Carl Ketsis, which, uh, once that's one of the bad guys, obviously not with that. Really should look at these before actually recording the video. And Purge Trooper, so that's one of the new uh, bad bad guys. And then we have a Scout Trooper, which we were already familiar with with the Return Jedi, pretty much. So yeah, let's make sure there's nothing else in this box. Looks like it's just an empty bit there. So yeah, so that's pretty much everything from this box. Um, this came out on the 15th of November and I'm finally going to get to play it this weekend so uh, really looking forward to it. Uh, if you've already played it, don't spoil it for me, don't put any spoils in the comments, uh, but do let me know if you have enjoyed it and what's the best part of it you've enjoyed so far without trying to spoil too much of it. And uh, what I'll do as well is um, at some point in the next few weeks I'll be doing my own review on the Mandalorian series from Disney+. Plus. I know it's not available in the UK yet, but I've been watching it and I'm not going to tell people where it is. If you want to know, message me personally, but it's amazing and spoiler alert, Baby Yoda is awesome and I can't wait to see more of him. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, well, until the next video, goodbye.